Hello and welcome to 4P at CC, the Prometheus Pompeii puppet players brought to you by Barbara Bush at Cypress Creek, a branch of the Harris County Public Library. This week, part three of Julius Caesar. Sooth, Caesar, beware the Ides of March. Do not go to the Senate. Ha! Soothsayer, you are proven wrong. The Ides of March has come, and I have suffered no harm. Come, but not gone. Turn home before it is too late. Never. I am not afraid. All right, look, I didn't want to say anything, but I'm a time traveler from the future, and I'm trying to alter a series of events by preventing your assassination. If you go to the Senate today, they're going to kill you. No, my friend Brutus is there. He would never do that. He will, and you'll say, Andrew Brute. No, wait, uh, Tofu Brute. That's not it, hold on. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to the Senate. Achoo Brute. No, no, give me a second and I'll, I'll remember this. One, two, one, two, and through and through, the vorpal blade went snicker-snack, Brute. Uh, oh, he's gone. Hello, Caesar. Welcome to this session of the Imperial Roman Senate. Why, hello, Brutus. Where is Mark Anthony? I don't know. He was supposed to be here. Does anybody know where he went? I think I saw him stop somewhere to pick up some donuts. But he should have been he done with that by now. Huh. Perhaps we should wait until Marcus Antonius arrives. No, no, I'm sure he'll be here by the time things are irrelevant to him. You go on ahead and do your thing. I'm looking forward to it. Fortune favors the bold. Did Shakespeare write that? I don't think so. But Virgil will in about 20 years. Strike him down, senators! Ha! Wait, I didn't approve this? Ah, Brutus, stop them! I'm sorry, Caesar. Urgh. It's it's for the good of Rome. Urgh. Et tu, Brute? Even you, my old friend? Oh, then die, Caesar. Hey, guys, what's up? I brought donuts! Oh, what's this? You killed Caesar? Yes, Mark Anthony, you knew the plan. Now, you and Brutus do your part and go talk to the crowds. Caesar, Caesar, he's real keen. Last night I ate a jelly bean. Did you? Uh, no. No, I'm just making a rhyme. I sure am looking forward to seeing Julius Caesar when the Senate meeting ends. Oh, look, they're coming out already. Well, that was quick. We will be satisfied. Let us be satisfied. Romans, countrymen and lovers, hear me for my cause. Lovers? Shh. I regret to inform you that Julius Caesar is no more. You all know me, you know my sense of honor, and you know that Caesar was my very best friend. Why then did I help strike down Caesar? It was not that I loved Caesar less, but that I loved Rome more. As Caesar loved me, I mourned for him. As Caesar was fortunate, I rejoiced for him. As Caesar was valiant, I honored him. But as Caesar was ambitious, I slew him. Tears for his love, joy for his fortune, honor for his valor, death for his ambition. Every day I will miss my dear friend, but every day I will continue to be a Roman. I will continue to serve Rome. I will continue to work for you, the Roman people. And that is why what we have done today was necessary. Master of the House Marcus Antonius, 
friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears. Actually, keep your ears. You're going to need those in order to listen to me. The evil that men do lives after them. The good is oft interred with their bones. So let it be with Caesar. The noble Brutus has told you that Caesar was ambitious, and Brutus is an honorable man. Caesar was my friend, fair and just to me. He made you, the people of Rome, wealthy. But Brutus says Caesar was ambitious, and Brutus is an honorable man. So are they all, all honorable men. You all did love him once, not without cause. Why, I have Caesar's last will and testament right here. Now, I would read it for you, but I won't, because it would only make you angry to hear how much he loved you, the people of Rome. No, let us hear the will. What is Mark Anthony doing? He's, he's making the crowds angry. He's acting as if he wasn't part of the plot all along, like he didn't even know. Won't people find it odd that he just happens to be carrying Caesar's will around with him? You force me to read the will. Well, it was just an idea. Then I have no choice. It says, I, Julius Caesar, being of sound mind and body, <laughs> sound mind, loving all the people of Rome, he loved us, leave Octavius in charge. Ah, oh, alas, it is with great sadis sadness that I, Mark Anthony, accept this duty of, uh, uh, he didn't say you, Mark Anthony. He said Octavius. I accept this. D I of uh, Octavi. What, Octavius? But, but I was supposed to be the one. O Octavius is just some whiny little kid. Why did Caesar roar? I am an angry crowd. I have been riled up. Come, let us march around and scuff up our shoes. By the way, anyone in need of shoe repairs, please take my card. Well, the Globe Theatre will be opening soon, and I'm hoping this new play I'm working on will be just the thing to bring people in. Shakespeare? William Shakespeare? Oh, hello, what is this? Why, you look just like how I imagine, envisioned the character of Portia in my play Merchant of Venice. Actually, I'm Portia from Julius Caesar. Oh, well, I'm writing Julius Caesar right now. I'm worried that Queen Elizabeth I is getting older, and I want to warn people about how bad things might get if we get into a civil war over her replacement. So Acts 4 and 5 of Julius Caesar are all about the civil war that erupts between Mark Anthony and Octavius on one side and the senators on the other leading to a series of civil wars which tear Rome apart? Potentially, yes. Uh, that Marcus Antonius character seemed kind of slimy. I wonder what he's up to now. I was Caesar's second in command. I took care of Rome while he was off with his wars. Caesar was supposed to leave command of Rome to me. Instead, he hands it off to this upstart child, Octavius. <sighs> what has Octavius ever accomplished? Just because his grandmother, Julia, was Julius Caesar's sister? What about my long years serving at Caesar's side? I should be the one rising to power. First things first, I'll lead the people in overthrowing these traitorous senators who struck down our dear beloved leader. And by the time this upstart Octavius shows up, I'll already be ruling things. Ha ha ha! Ha 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 ha
Until then, keep on reading.